Olá, o TV Franchise está recebendo agora o Christophe Anglès, da Paris Expo Franchise. Tudo bom? How are you? Hi, hello, olá. <laughs> Three languages? <laughs> well, only for one word. Christophe, you are from France, right? That's right. And I... what's your business in franchise? Well, I work with the French uh, Franchise Association uh, to promote the Franchise Expo Paris show, which belongs to the Franchise Association. O trabalho principal do Christophe é promover a Feira de Franquia de Paris. Why are you here in Brazil? Well, I arrived this morning and uh, trying to finalize with ABF the preparation of a big pavilion for Brazilian brands and Brazilian investors to celebrate Brazil Guest of Honor for our next Franchise Expo Paris show in March 2009. Olha que bacana! Ele veio para o Brasil para fechar os últimos acordos com a ABF. A ABF vai ter um pavilhão extra, como se fosse convidado de honra, para a Expo Paris de 2009 em março. Olha que bacana isso para o Brasil. E how, how far is it going? How long is it? Well, it's going very well. We have... Uh... Uh, a very strong support of the ABF and maybe the Apex and we are discovering now many Brazilian concepts with an interesting potential for French and European uh, development through franchise. Christophe, why Brazil? Why Brazil? Well, of course Brazil is also an interesting market for French franchisers, for French brands and uh, there is a long historic and interest between France and Brazil and we definitely want to strengthen the relationships between our two countries. Por que convidar o Brasil para ser um convidado de honra no pavilhão das exposições da franquia parisiense do ano que vem? Ele acabou de dizer para a gente que o Brasil é um país muito interessante, que existe muito interesse por parte das empresas francesas em conhecer o nosso mercado e também de apresentar os produtos brasileiros para as empresas francesas. How is the franchise industry doing in France? Well, we're very lucky. The franchise industry in France is a very strong one. We had uh, last year uh, a turnover of 45 billion euros, which makes about 70 billion dollars. And uh, Huge. well, big Huge. enough, yes. Ele está contando que a indústria de franquia na França vai muito bem, obrigado. Somente no ano passado, 70 bilhões de dólares em faturamento nessa indústria. With 1,100 franchise systems, generating about 45,000 jobs. 1.100 marcas de franquias, gerando mais de 40 mil empregos no, no, no país inteiro. So, very exciting numbers. Yes, it is, yes. Very exciting figures. Exactly, and uh, now we want to uh, have the Brazilian brands uh, profit and uh, take a benefit from uh, this strong market. Would you say the French market for franchising is already mature? Yes, very mature, and uh, we have also a franchise association which has helped uh, to uh, regulate this market, so it's uh, once you have uh, understood the strong regulations, you can operate successfully and develop a, a good brand in France. I'm asking you this because I've talked to lots of foreigners today and they have talked, they have mentioned the word tropicalization. Do you believe the French brands and griffes are ready for the tropicalization when going overboard, when going across the border? Well, when I... Uh, uh, see São Paulo, I don't think about uh, any tropicalization as it's as modern or even uh, more modern than our country in France. So I think we would have to be very, the French brands will have to be very competitive and innovative in terms of marketing, pricing, etc. So, uh, but in a few countries, yes, you need to adapt your concept, your goods, your marketing strategy to the consumers, but uh, anyway, I think uh, there is a, a good way for a success for a French brands in Brazil. Falando um pouquinho de tropicalização, Christophe não acha que, por exemplo, numa cidade como São Paulo, isso seria um problema ou um grande desafio. 
pelo que ele viu, São Paulo é uma metrópole cosmopolita e que funciona tão bem como qualquer outra grande metrópole no mundo. Naturalmente, ele é preocupado, ele está preocupado com o processo de tropicalização em outros países, em outras cidades. Sim, diz ele, deve se levar em conta para evitar os choques culturais e fazer os necessários ajustes. The franchise industry has always been a support for the growth and the business extension, especially in the retail. How do you see the future in this industry? Well, uh, in France, uh, which I know better than in Brazil, uh, the future, uh, of course, as you said, uh, the franchise industry is very strong in France in the retail industry. But we have now uh, a longing for services concept. We have more and more uh, personal services concept like senior care or training or uh, home care uh, services concepts. We have also now a big number of new business to business services concepts with a whole, uh, uh, with a, 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 an important number of candidates coming from the uh, uh, executives from companies who want to change their life and be entrepreneurs by themselves. So this, uh, the services concepts are very uh, uh, successful in France right now and in the next years, I think. Olha que interessante o que Christophe está falando. Alinhado com todas as pessoas que a gente tem entrevistado, o futuro da franquia parece que realmente é investir também na parte de serviços. Um novo conceito dentro dessa indústria, principalmente na França, como Christophe está falando, e serviços para as pessoas mais idosas, serviços para ajudar os idosos nos tratamentos de saúde, no home care, como ele mesmo diz. Pelo, pelo que a gente pode ver, estamos bastante alinhados com o que será o futuro da indústria da franquia. Christophe, merci beaucoup, muito obrigado. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Muito obrigado. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.